All right, let's have, let's have some fun. This is Cher, and now we will talk about things not to say to our coworkers. Good. So how about that question? Are you pregnant? Oh my goodness, you don't want to say that never ever to nobody, okay? What if the person is, you know, gaining some weight and is having a little belly, you don't want to tell them, you don't even want to say, oh my gosh, you're so skinny, you're not eating? That's the part. <laughs> Sorry about that noise, okay? But that makes it more realistic. This is a real house in a real city, so there's cars, there's dogs barking, there's people walking by. Okay, everything's real. All right, so we don't want to tell people, you know, oh, we're, I realize you're fat, or I realize you're skinny, or I realize you're short, I realize, no. Just respect people for who they are, and they will respect you as well. Okay? Uh, or another thing is, oh, that's not my job. You know, I don't have to do that. No, come on, this is difficult times. People, there's shortage of jobs. You want to contribute, you want to be the person who helps, you want to be the volunteer. You want to be important and necessary for your job. Good? Um, or you want to set, talk about things about people or managers or how jerk they are? No, you don't, you just keep that to yourself. You know, you, you have like a sexual harassment, okay, you can make a formal complaining in the human resources department, that's different, okay? Oh, uh, another thing like spreading gossip, like X is dating Y. No, 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 no. You're not the news uh, person on the dating scene. You just do your job, stay away from the gossip. You'll be safe that way, okay? And you want to say, you're how old? Oh my God, you look so young. Oh my God, you look so old for your age. No, you're there. You need to be professional. That's why it's your job. It's not you know, going to the bar <laughs> to socialize, you know, and the job in schools and professional places like that, you want to keep your integrity, your reputation. It's so important so people take you seriously. Yes? You just keep those thoughts to yourself and you'll be better off. Okay? Um, you know, but you don't want to say how hangover are you, how much party. You've been doing everything is your job, you know, everybody it's in a competition for that position job in school as well. So you just have to keep those things in line for uh, getting your goals and on your um, the success will depend on what is it you're talking about in your job, you know, how you manage yourself and how you relate to your coworkers. So just giving you a little help. And why I want to tell you this, why you shouldn't, the people who tell their problems to their coworkers, they're not psychologists. Your coworkers are not counselors, uh, they're not professional counselors, they go there for a paycheck. So just give you that hint. And the main idea that I want to give you why you shouldn't tell your problems to your coworkers. It's because the 80% of the people you tell your problems, um, they really don't care. And the other 20%, they're just happy to you having those problems. All right? <laughs> so just go to counseling if you need to talk about your life and your problems. And I hope this helped you. And I see you in the next video. And I'll take care of a few things that will help you. It's just my opinion. And I love you so much and I want you to succeed and everything works for the best in your life. Alright? Meet me here in the next video. Thank you so much, YouTube. I love you. Mm -hmm.